waiting to take a flight from JFK. Uh, we spent the better part of June 17th uh, exploring Lower Manhattan. Patty was under the weather, so Joanne and I took the train from Jamaica uh, to Manhattan by ourselves and visited the neighborhood of the World Trade Center. Well, I'm wearing these shades today because I wouldn't want anybody to recognize me doing anything so touristy as talking into a video camera in New York City. But uh, we've made a foray to downtown Manhattan to look at the World Trade Center building, the new World Trade Center building, and there it is. Here's Joanne, she's, she's wearing her shades too. Apparently she doesn't want to be recognized by anybody uh, as a tourist in Manhattan. No, not by any kooks who threatened to throw people over the train tracks. Yeah, what, what kind of a situation did we have this morning, Well, Chief? that was it. Well, we had two kooks. One was blasting everybody on the elevator, going down to the train, to the subway, and the other one was on the platform. He asked a question and I said, I, but he didn't know. Then he said, I don't want to get in trouble, I, I'm angry, I, I, I might just throw as many as three people off the tra into the tracks. And I said, oh. So we uh, talked to a security officer. Yeah, and, and he saw us talk to a security officer, the and then he gave us a finger as he got on the train. Yeah, uh, okay. Good feeling, yeah. And by 2016, they want them to look just like this. Okay, this is the uh, new subway station. Yeah, they all together are going to look like the flame of the torch of the Statue of the Liberty. I think that's uh, Vesey Street there. And we're on a, a kind of memorial to uh, world poverty. It's a memorial to the potato famine. Almost in the shadow of the new World Trade Building. This is a recreation of a kind of a crofter's hovel in stone here. This is the Irish Hunger Memorial. I thought and it looked like uh, Irish crofters. The President Mary McAleese, President of Ireland, said. We all live in each other's shadows. 